Hey guys, this is my uh, first attempt at, at any kind of tutorial really. Uh, just doing up Crypt Horror and essentially what I'm trying to do is uh, is get them to go in line with um, with the ghouls that I've painted up. So here's uh, here's a ghoul that I did up and uh, let's see if that'll focus at all. It really doesn't like to. Well, anyways, we'll we'll put him there, and uh, <clears throat> how I get their skin to be the way that it is is uh, starting with this guy, uh, primed white, and just given a real liberal wash of uh, of the now defunct ball red. What I'm going to be doing wash. here at this stage is after it's dried, I'm going to be applying the the fair highlight from Reaper. Um, it's what I've used for the skin tones on my, my necromancers or anything of such for, uh, for the army so And I'm far. just going to do a dry brush on it real quickly. So all I'm doing really is just, uh, is I'm just going to give it a real, and again, a, a, a generous application of, uh, of this fair highlight as a dry brush. And... The reason I do this is it gives it gives something for the second application of the wash to really grab so, to. Like I said, just really making sure that I cover cover everything. And it gives them more of a more of a with, pink look uh, with another coat of ball red you'll really start seeing the difference in the recesses especially of the uh, of the model the muscle tone the ribs um, the claws the the I particularly enjoy this stuff in here and we're gonna go over this later on with some uh, some of that magic magic blood juice that everyone seems to be loving so much right now and I just uh, I'm completely in fact anyway we'll uh, we'll let this guy dry off and we'll be applying another wash to him right away and uh, and we'll go from there Okay, back again. Uh, this is after the second application of the ball red wash. You'll see now that it's uh, it's gotten more of that meat coloring to it, and a little bit more depth as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is same uh, you know second verse, same as the first, so to speak. We're just going to do uh, another liberal wa uh, dry brush with the with the Reaper paint and this time uh, I'm not necessarily going to go over the whole model uh, there's no need no need to waste any of this on the uh, on the stuff that I'm not going to have painted flesh tones for example so all this meat in here where his spines erupted out of his back thanks to the uh, the drink that his boss gave him one thing to keep in mind here is uh, is we will be doing another wash. Uh, the next wash after after this is going to be um, is going to be Griffin Sepia. Again, another color that uh, that is gone, but but I've heard a lot of people tell me that um, that it just has a new name now. So hopefully that's the case. So again, just just trying to get the main areas and avoid the uh, avoid the stuff we're not going to paint flesh tone again. All right, so there we are now, getting a little bit closer, looking a little. Uh, A little closer to what he should be should be looking like, and 
We'll let that guy dry up. All right, uh, so as you can see here, we've done a Griffin Sepia wash over the flesh tone. And so yet again, we're going to do another, uh, another dry brush with the, uh, with the pale highlight. The difference this time is we want it um, a lot less uh, thick, not as liberal as we've been doing the uh, the other dry brushes with but um, I am making some somewhat of an effort to avoid those lovely meaty bits at the back I don't know how you guys get your uh, your dry brushes to where you want them to, but I mean my hand is it's always covered in paint at the end of a, a day of hobbying that's how I judge a good day but from a bad day I've got paint all over my hand I think it was okay. And the hands I'm not going to be overly concerned about because this guy is, he's he's going to be getting the uh, the Tamiya X27 treatment. Love this stuff. It's fantastic. I greatly applaud all of you who had uh, enlightened me to its existence. I haven't gotten to the to the skill level that some of you have with with the Uhu glue that I can't seem to find here in Canada, but uh, I'm still looking. I had some experiments with decoupage uh, decoupage glue. It didn't quite do what I wanted it to, so I'm still looking. Uh, someone had mentioned testers. Tester's glue does the same the same thing, and uh, if anyone has any experience with that, please do let me know. I'd be greatly interested in seeing uh, seeing how it goes. So, there's the dry brush on that guy. We're gonna let him dry. We're gonna give uh, a very light wash with some uh, some Devlin mud after this, avoiding again the uh, the recesses here. Uh, on the bone, I will be sticking it into the meat this time, just to give a uh, to give a little bit of something in there. And we're going to go over that again, again, uh, again with the Tamiya X27 uh, and some reds and some purples, just to give it some depth. But I am going to get the uh, the Devlin wash in this area as well. The only thing I'm really going to try to avoid is the bone because we're going to paint right over this with some nice bleached bone afterwards, anyways. So, all right, we're going to let them dry up and uh, and we'll get back to it. All right, uh, last one going here. After this, it's uh, it's pretty much just picking out details, painting, you know, the bones, the bits. Uh, I will be putting Tamiya in here, but I don't think uh, for the limited amount that I'm going to do, I'm going to include it in the video portion of uh, of the tutorial. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'll set that guy down, and I'll put a ghoul beside him, and you'll see now that. Uh, the color's getting a lot closer, so what all I'm going to do now is uh, is give one final dry brush of the of the pale flesh, the fair highlight I should say from from Reaper, and uh, and they should look like uh, big brother little brother. This is the lightest uh, dry brush that we can do very gentle uh, well see there we go there obviously was a wet yeah there it is shit well I'll have to tone that down in a second but uh, but we just want 
just to give a white pallor to the skin. All right, there we go. So that'll be the uh, that'll be the end of the video portion of this. Everything else will just be snapshot updates of uh, of my progress. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope it'll eventually help uh, help some of you achieve some of the looks that that you may choose to uh, to do on the Cryptors. Thanks again.